All right, here we go. Question number 12 from our college algebra, homework number two in my lab math. We have another rational equation that we need to solve. And this one is going to be a little bit higher degree of difficulty because this is going to involve some factoring on our part. So let's get started. Up here in the uh, right hand corner, we've got our problem. And the first thing I notice is that the first denominator is a trinomial. And so we're going to need to factor that like we factor trinomials. So if I, oh, and I noticed that I didn't copy that sign, that, woo, that would have been a big mistake. Did y'all notice that, the plus sign there? I almost missed that. All right. So what do we got? We've got the signs are both going to be negative. So those are both minus. Z and z make the z squared and i'm going to need numbers that multiply to make six that add to make seven and that's going to be six and one so there's that trinomial factored the middle denominator won't factor so we're going to skip over him and keep going the last denominator i noticed that those two terms have a common factor of four and if I factor out the 4, that's going to leave me z minus 1. And so now that I have all the denominators factored, we're going to be able to write our new equation and then get all the denominators to match. All right, so here we go. What have I got? I've got 1 over z minus 6 times z minus 1 minus... 1 over z minus 6 equals 1 over 4 z minus 1. That's the, the new equation with the denominators factored. And so now we're going to go through and we're going to find out what does each denominator need so that they all have the same stuff, okay? So this last denominator, notice he has a 4, a factor of 4, that the first den <clears throat> denominator does not have, and so he needs the 4. Whatever I give to the bottom, I have to give to the top. The second denominator has the z minus 6. He needs the 4 and the z minus 1. So we're going to give him the 4 and the z minus 1. So we're going to have to give that to the numerator as well. And for the last denominator, he needs the z minus 6. And so we're going to have to give that to the numerator as well. And now if you go through and notice, every one of these denominators now has exactly the same stuff. We have a 4 a z minus 6, and a z minus 1, 4, z minus 6, z minus 1, 4, z minus 6, z minus 1. So now that all the denominators are identical, we can effectively cancel them out, and we're only going to have the numerators left as an equation. So 4 times 1, that's going to leave me a 4, minus this numerator, 4 times 1, that is 4 times z minus 1 equals, and then 1 times anything is itself, so equals z minus 6. And now we have a new equation with no fractions. This should be pretty easy to finish. Distribute the negative 4. That's going to give me 4 minus 4z plus 4 equals z minus 6. Combine like terms, we've got minus 4z equals 4 plus 4, oh, not equals, negative 4z, 4 plus 4 is 8, equals z minus 6. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this z and bring it this way, and take this 8 and bring it this way. So that's going to give me negative 4z minus z, and this 8, when he comes over, becomes negative 8 minus 6. And combine like terms. We've got negative 5z 
negative 8 and negative 6, that's negative 14. Divide both sides by negative 5. And a negative over a negative makes a positive. And we're going to leave that as an improper fraction. Uh, just because the instructions say type an integer or a simplified fraction. So we don't want a decimal there. 14 over 5, fingers crossed. Bam! All right, so I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.